for you and me having fun together. Good morning, boys and girls, mommies and daddies. Welcome to RME's Music Lab. Today we've got a very fun episode queued up for you. We're going to be playing tunes from New Orleans. That's right. I can't wait to go back there. Have you ever been, Mr. Ben? I have not. I really want to go. But yeah, I've never, I haven't made it down there. You freak out. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. You <laughs> yeah. totally love it. It's I've, heard, I've heard stories. <laughs> Everybody's welcome there. Ben and I talk about New Orleans a lot with all the programming that we do with kids and adults. And uh, I always kind of say I think New Orleans should be its own country or state because it... <laughs> Go ahead, Miss Kate. Nope. Okay. Good morning, Miss Kate. Good morning. <laughs> the reason why I say it, should, you know, um, it's because it has the perfect mix of absolutely everybody, culture, man, woman, no matter where you're from, from around the world, in one very tiny place. It's just there's only one New Orleans, and it's just so special. So if you got a chance to go. I say go. Absolutely. You there's, won't want to leave. There's few towns too that have like their own type of music. Right. You know, like where there's like there's like different variations of the blues that are associated yeah. with different cities and everything, but like like Zydeco, you're not really hearing Zydeco anywhere except for New Orleans. Like you it's know. like that is that is New Orleans music. Right. And a lot of people don't even know what Zydeco is. They they've heard it. They know that yeah. feel. Yeah. <laughs> Right? There's no sad Zydeco song. I relate like disco. You know, there's no like sad minor chord slow disco song. It's all disco. <laughs> Zydeco, it's all the same. Man, it just gets you pumped up. It feels good. They have their own language, Creole language. Yeah. Right? Like it's incredible. Jambalaya gumbo. It's all these different types of recipes from all around the world, all put into just one gigantic stew, and it's just so incredible. And that's why. The, the music is the exact same way. The people are the same way. Everybody is welcome in New Orleans. So let's all go down there today and let's do it together. So all right, if you're new to the program, I want to know who you are. Send in your name, your age, what city and state or country that you're from. So we can put you on our board down here. And uh, if you've ever been to New Orleans, uh, give us a thumbs up or a yes or a hey, hey, or a hey, fuck away or a something. And uh, let us know. I think it's really cool. So let's do some blues lyrics here. And uh, let's wake up a little bit. So, uh, I think. No, no, let's just do a blues. Let's okay. do a blues. Yeah, okay. So, here we go. <laughs>
Yeah, New Orleans is a place we all need to go see. I think we need to do a tune and check, Mr. Ben. <laughs> I was just thinking that too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, tuning's important <laughs> for all you budding guitar players out there. I get that question quite often. Hey, what pedal should I buy? What's the most important pedal that I need? What kind of pedals do you have? <laughs> Number one, here you go. This is big news, and I'm gonna offer it up for free. The most important pedal you can buy is a tuner pedal. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Everything else is secondary. That's right, and if you get one of the pedals you stomp on that mutes it while you can tune, boy, you're big time yeah. now, I tell you what. So, all right, well, I just want to jump right into this New Orleans music that we got queued up for you. And I think uh, we should just start right with the big one here. Wait, we need to know who's tuned in first. That's right. Who do we got, Miss Kate? Who do we got? Let's see. I see we've got Ethan Good. Hey, Kate. Bruno Andre. So let's turn it right down. AKA, my name is Bruno Andre, and I'm from New Orleans. <laughs> you guys really don't play the music like my uncles. <laughs> nice. Well, thanks, Ethan, AKA Bruno Andre. We've got Steve Bauman tuned in this morning. Good morning, brother. How are you? I miss you. Love your face. We got Lisa Goddard tuned in. We got Mom, your. I like that. Good morning, Mom. And we got Keith Landsteiner tuned in. And everybody else tuned in in the background. Good morning. So let's see. I think I'm going to capo up to number, number three here, Mr. Band. I always have a capo ready. I've never, I never capo anything. But I think it'd just be fun. Alright, let's give this a shot.
Saints go marching in. I think we're gonna have to do that song again sometime. <laughs> yeah. That was nice. What a great tune. What a great tune. The epitome of New Orleans right there, ladies and gentlemen. It is the absolute New Orleans anthem. So they have a big festival called Jazz Fest every year. And um, it's one of the biggest festivals in the country. It lasts the course of two weeks, if I'm correct. People come from all around the world. They have tons of stages. They get the world's biggest names, but they always get all the local musicians to play the festival too, even with the biggest names. A lot of collaborations going on. And it's just the big American party of the year, really. <laughs> and I always want to go. Someday we got to do it. So look up Jazz Fest um, and just go down the rabbit hole. There you go. There's, there's a gift. So, all right, well, let's see. Let's try some Fats Domino first before we end with the meters because, ooh, that's going to get funky. <laughs> if you don't know the meters, man, well, go down that rabbit hole too. You're welcome. So good. So, okay. New Orleans' own Fats Domino. We did a Fats Domino day. Uh, unbelievable piano player. One of the people that they say are absolutely responsible for rock and roll. Yeah. Yep, that's it. Old Fats, man. He was incredible. So let's see if we can do this here. <laughs> There's just something about this song. <laughs> it's just got that, that flavor, man. And uh, let's see what we can do. Okay.
Docket, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm excited for this one. Here we go. We've got the meters. <sighs> we need another. Uh, we need another hour morning chat before we yeah. get going to talk about the meters. <laughs> New Orleans Epitome Funk Band, um, through and through. Uh, they have so many tunes. They have so many tunes, and they are just incredible. Look up the meters. Feel the funk. They will make you feel good yeah. all the time. If you're having a bad day, pop on the meters, man, and just get to it. Um, and they're the backing band on some of Dr. John's best records. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, and what's cool about all the musicians, whether they were a band or just solo musicians or those solo musicians had their own bands, they all collaborated together. Like I said, New Orleans is um, it's just like gumbo and jambalaya. The music is the same. Mm -hmm. Everybody supported each other and loved each other. It still does. Uh, you know, like, man, if it wasn't prof Professor Longhair, we wouldn't have a Dr. John. If there wasn't, like, it just keeps going. Everybody supported each other. So here we go. Let's see if we can give this a shot. So, uh...
played that song for an hour. <laughs> it's so great. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Epoch away. Yeah, go down the meters rabbit hole, ladies and gentlemen. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in to episode 108 of RME's Music Lab. Thank you, Mr. Ben. What a good day. Yeah, always fun to get to play music. Thank you, Miss Kate. Very much appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we will see you guys tomorrow. Of course, you know, we got to thank KWQC, Mediacom, QC Foot and Ankle. And all of you listening out there, we will be back tomorrow at 10 a.m. So we will see you then. Uh, let's see. We got to do this New Orleans style somehow. Let's see. Right. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you want to help support River Music Experience and other programs like Music Lab, visit rivermusicexperience.org slash donate.